Okay, so this video we're going to go over um, how to change out certain aspects of a theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the window up here. So what we're going to do, this is for a client. And this is the current site. It's actually under construction, which you'll notice up here that this is sort of um, your host provider will actually give you like a dummy domain, for lack of a better word, until you're ready to point your domain names, especially uh, if you have another site, like an HTML site that you're transferring to WordPress. So what we want to do with this project is we're going to go ahead and we're going to change this image right here. And this is called headline. And I'm going to show you a quick little trick on how to decipher what images are uh, what they're called on your on your site. So what I've done is I have installed a tool called Firebug. So this is a Mozilla add-on, a plugin for Mozilla. So I'm going to come up to Tools. I'm going to select Firebug and I'm going to open it. Now you don't have to install this, but if you want to get into customizing, it will save you so much time. So this little button over here. What this is going to do is I'm going to click on this and anywhere that I mouse over on the Im on the screen, it's going to show me what that image is. So now you'll see like each time I do something, all of this. So right here, you can see that the blue. So if I want to know what that image is called, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click it to hold everything in place. So what you see on the left hand side, this is the HTML or you know the PHP which is in your editor. What we're looking for is the CSS. So let's get this back on. So over here, let's see, we got to highlight this because it's going to keep scrolling through. What you're looking for is an image name. Okay, so I'm going to hold that in place. And over on the right hand side, this is your style. So if you come down here and you see right here where it says images and it's headline.png. So what's great about this is you can actually, if you just hover over the name of it, it tells you the size of the image too. So we see that it's 20 by 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I create an image. We're going to, what the client would like to see what this looks like in black because there's so much orange on the screen. So I'm going to recreate the headline.png in Photoshop. Same size, I'm going to title it the same thing and then I'll show you how to upload it. So let me just go ahead, let's close this. We'll pause the... Uh... Okay, so now I'm just not seeing the monitor here, but um, so now what we're going to do is now that I've created that image, I'm going to upload it through cPanel. So you want to log in, and this they use Bluehost. We recommend HostGator also. They both have great admin panels. It's called your cPanel for control panel. So you're going to scroll over to File Manager. And then regardless of how many domains you have set here, it depends on this public HTML, which you see here. This is their root folder. So we know that this is the primary site. So I'm going to go into WP Content. Then I'm going to go into Themes. Then we're using the lifestyle. This is the upgraded lifestyle. So we're going to use, we're using the new one. And last, I'm going to go into Images. So here are all the theme images for the current theme. So you'll see if we scroll over to Headline right here, if we just click it and then come up here and click on View, see, there it is right there. So it tells you it's headline.png and it's 20 by 25. So I've already created this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Upload and I'll show you what happens. What I always do is I click this to overwrite it, but we're not going to do that just so you can see what happens in case you forget that. So we're going to click on Browse. My desktop opened in the other window. So I'm selecting it. See, so this will pop up and it's going to say, are you sure you wish to overwrite this file? Uh, so just click Yes. small image. It doesn't take too long. You can always come back and double check that it uploaded correctly. You have to refresh it though. So there you go. So you can see that the black uploaded. So now we're going to come back to the site and we're just going to refresh. 
come on. It will hit all of the sidebars too. It's just taking a minute. There you go. So that's how you change out one of the images. Now this would be the same for, um, you know, if you wanted to change the header. Um, there's certain things that, it's tricky with WordPress, is there are some things that are going to be images, and then there are some aspects that are going to be in your editor, in your CSS, actually, in the back of the site. So it just depends, but that's it. That's how you change the widget headlines in this particular theme.